Now, after five months with the iPhone 15 Pro Max, I think it's safe to say that this phone is pretty great. Now, usually after a six month mark after an iPhone is released, there's always some type of major problem that's associated with it. The iPhone 12 Pro Max having a lot of problems that are way too many to name. The iPhone 13 Pro Max was great, but it had its problems with overheating. The iPhone 14 Pro Max has some horrible bugs that are still present till this day. And the iPhone 15 Pro Max was extremely close to being associated with overheating, but it fixed this problem before it became a part of its identity. And this isn't to say that the 15 Pro Max didn't have its fair share of minor problems during my use with it over the past five months. Every once in a while, I've experienced bugs at the most inconvenient times, and its durability is questionable since the titanium has proven to scratch easily and the phone is very slippery, which is a very bad combination. But overall, I think that this is the best iPhone that has been released since the iPhone 13 Pro Max, and it has been the strongest competitor to the Pixel 8 Pro and Galaxy S24 Ultra, from its great battery to its top tier display, all the way down to its amazing camera. So despite the trials and tribulations that I face with my 15 Pro Max, I wanna share my experience to show you guys how it holds up after five months of use. Now looking at the battery, the iPhone 15 Pro Max handled everything extremely well. I was able to get pretty heavy use out of it since I shoot videos with my iPhone. And other than shooting videos, I'm usually checking up on my Instagram and TikTok analytics, watching YouTube videos, scrolling through Twitter, and checking up on my emails throughout the day. I never had to use power saving mode since the battery was able to last me all day with no problem. And as long as I got up to six hours of screen time, I could basically use any power heavy app that I wanted. I was very comfortable doing whatever needed to be done on this phone. And I was always sure that it will last me till the end of the day. On a daily basis, I'm getting six to eight hours of screen time a day, ending my days on a very low percentage, but still never feeling like I needed to cut corners to extend the battery. And I'm very happy that the 15 Pro Max is still keeping its great battery reputation. And I'm still amazed that my battery health is above 90 percent charging on the 15 pro max had little to no problems since i mostly charged my phone overnight there were a few times where i forgot to charge it at night so i charged it while getting ready for the day and it was always on 80 to 100 percent so now that we've taken a look at the battery let's discuss the design and build quality now out of every phone in the market the iphone 15 pro max is one of the best in terms of look and feel the arch smooth curves complemented with a boxy frame and i feel like this is the best in terms of aesthetic and my favorite part is that it has the matte back that has been great at dealing with fingerprints the titanium sides were also very light on fingerprints making this phone not only feel smooth but also switching it from the previous generations it was also very easy to clean whenever i spill or drop my phone in something dirty and i really wish that every phone was this practical for everyday use now looking at weight the iPhone 15 Pro Max is 221 grams, holding it was very easy, watching YouTube videos in landscape mode was cool, and holding it vertically felt even better. And overall, the 15 Pro's aesthetic has always been top tier. It still gives great smoothness, and it still looks the same as the previous Pro model iPhones. Now looking at the display, the iPhone 15 Pro Max has been holding up very well, and in terms of resolution, it can easily go toe to toe with the best phones in the game. The 120 hz refresh rate still holds up very well. Compared to phones like the Galaxy S24 Ultra and Pixel 8 Pro, the 15 Pro Max also has a ceramic shield display, but Apple has always had more problems with scratch resistance, so it would be nice if they could improve that as well. Going further into the display, the premium look is the best attribute that it has. The colors pop, the smoothness was apparent, and like most iPhones, it was visually stunning. The brightness is also another great quality of the display. It's 2000 its peak, and I mostly use my phone in the house, but whenever I'm outside, I have no problem seeing anything, and the quality stayed the same. Face ID still is also holding up very well, and I think that it pretty much confirmed that the iPhone has always had the best facial recognition in the game, and 2024 is just another year of Apple dominating in this category. And now the last thing that I wanted to touch on when it comes to the display was just how good it looks when watching content, movies, and videos on social media. The resolution has never disappointed me in the slightest, and I'm glad that the very big display was able to enhance my experience. And now moving on to camera, the 15 Pro Max has been pretty much keeping up the same consistency, and it's my favorite in certain categories. The camera software continues to push the envelope and make my photos look as realistic as possible. The selfies were top tier, different objects in different environments were able to do well. Night photos are kind of a step down and not really that impressive to me, but they did get the job done. Selfies on the 15 Pro Max were among the best in the smartphone market. I love how it handles my skin tone. I love how it looks realistic while also adjusting little details. And I still believe that I have yet to find a phone that takes better selfies. Videos on the 15 Pro Max are also the best in the game. The autofocus, the many different modes, impressive stabilization, 
and quality was very consistent, which made me want to shoot more videos on it. You can shoot up to 4K, you can also shoot up to 60 frames per second, and the editing system was just as impressive. Also, the stabilization was very solid, pans were smooth along with brightness and contrast, and overall, everything was top tier. And that's pretty much all my thoughts surrounding the iPhone 15 Pro Max. It's a phone that has remained at the top of its game while managing to beat out its major problems. And that's why I think that the iPhone 15 Pro Max is a very strong candidate for phone of the year. Peace.